The Control X automation platform now supports code Sys Softmotion. In this video, we'll look at some of Softmotion's camming technology, as implemented in the Control X PLC engineering software. Softmotion uses fifth order polynomials, like the one shown here, to create cam curves. Over a given interval, the six polynomial coefficients, A0 through A5, allow us to impose six boundary conditions. Namely, the initial and final position, slope and concavity. Here we see the six boundary conditions being varied in turn. Of course, we can also vary the boundary conditions simultaneously. Note also that the fifth order polynomial reduces to a straight line, the initial and final slopes are chosen appropriately. We can create complex curves by placing fifth order polynomials end to end and adjusting the segment endpoints. Control X PLC engineering with soft motion includes a cam editor built on this exact principle. Cams are defined segment by segment. Here we see the displacement, velocity, acceleration, and jerk curves. The segment boundary points may be edited graphically by dragging the endpoints. or directly in the associated CAM table. Two curve types or motion laws are supported, fifth order polynomial and linear. To insert a segment endpoint, click the plus button at the desired location. To delete a segment endpoint, click the trash icon. To change the width of a segment, edit the associated x value in the CAM table. Note that the width of the adjacent segment will change. To change the overall CAM width, edit the master start and end values in the CAM table object properties.
To run the cam, we first create a handle to the cam object using MC cam table select. Note that we reference the cam table object, here named cam, directly in the function block call. Using the cam table ID handle, we may call MC cam in to synchronize our chosen master and slave. In our visualizer tool, we see the master position on the left and the slave position on the right. Commanding the master to run, we see the slave following the defined cam path. Opening the trace tool, we see the slave position in blue, the slave velocity in green, and the master position in red. Dividing the master travel into equal quarters, note that the slave first dwells, then accelerates. Then matches the master position exactly, then returns to zero. Finally, we note that we may build cam objects programmatically without making use of the visual cam editor. Code for our previous cam is shown here, where table is an array of type SMC cam X Y V A. And our cam object, cam, is of type M C cam ref. We create a handle to this object using MC cam table select and refer to it using MCCAMIN exactly as before. 